Hello students, today we will be talking about fundamental theorem of arithmetic. This theorem is very important in understanding the nature of composite numbers. So let's have a look at it. It says that every composite number can be expressed or factorized as a product of primes. This factorization is unique to that particular composite number and this uniqueness is not affected by the order in which the prime factors occur. So in order to explain it better, let's look at a number. Let's suppose that number is 30. So first of all, look at the first point. 30 is a composite number it can be expressed as a product of primes. Let's see how we do that. So let's factorize 30. So 30 is factorized as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. So we can see that this composite number 30 can be expressed as a product of prime numbers which are 2, 3 and 5 and also when we combine 2, 3 and 5 or we multiply 2, 3 and 5 we can only get number 30 and no other number so this combination of 2, 3 and 4 is unique only to number 30. Now the last point states that this factorization is not affected by the order in which these prime factors occur or Return. So 30 can also be written as 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 or 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 and so on. So the order of these prime numbers is not does not affect in calculating 30. So this theorem is helpful in finding HCF and LCM of numbers. Let's see how. So we'll start by taking two numbers. Let's suppose these numbers are 6 and 8. HCF is nothing but a factor which is common to both 6 and 8 and which is the highest among the all the factors. So what does it mean? So first of all we divide 6 and 8 into the factors. So 6 can be factorized as or 6 as factors 1, 2, 3 and 6. 8 has factors 1, 2, 4 and 8. Common factors between 6 and 8 are 1 and 2. And we have to find which is the highest common factor. So between 1 and 2, 2 is higher. So HCF of 6 and 8 is 2. Coming to LCM, for calculating LCM, we have to find which are the multiples of 6 and 8 and amongst those multiples, we have to find the least number. So let's make a list of multiples of 6 and 8. So multiples of 6 would be 6, 12, 18, 24 and so on. Multiples of 8 would be 16, 24, 32, 40 and so on. So let's find what are the common multiples. So the co first common multiple is 24 between 6 and 8. The, sec the next common multiple is 48. So if we keep on going, we'll see that we'll have an infinite number of such multiples which are common to 6 and 8. But we have to only take which is the least such number. So in this case, the least such number is 24. So LCM of 6 and 8 is 
24. Now imagine if you have to calculate HCF and LCM of, of very large numbers then this process of calculating factors and multiples would be very tedious. So in this case our fundamental theorem of arithmetic will be very helpful. So in order to find HCF and LCM using the fundamental theorem of arithmetic we have to first factorize 6 and 8. So 6 can be written as 2 multiplied by 3 or 2 to the power 1 and 3 to the power 1. Similarly 6 can be written as uh, sorry 8 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 or 2 to the power 3. Now at, in order to find HCF we have to take least power of common multiples of these two numbers. Least power of common factors. So what are the common factors? Common factor between 6 and 8 is actually only one factor which is 2. and the least power is so 6 has power 1 of 2 and 8 has power 3 of 2 so the lesser between 1 and 3 is 1 so HCF of 6 and 8 would be 2 to the power 1 which is the least power of common factor which is 2 similarly for calculating LCM we have to find highest power. Notice the difference. For HCF we took the least power. For LCM we are taking the highest power of all the factors. So let's see what are all the factors. So the factors of 6 and 8 are 2 3 and again 2 so factors 2 and 3 highest power would be so the highest power of 2 between 6 and 8 is 3 and the highest power of 3 is 1 so LCM of 6 and 8 would be the multiplication of the factors raised to their highest power so 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 3 raised to power 1 which will give us 8 multiplied by 3 which is 24. Now you can observe this 24 is same as the one we calculated using the simple approach of listing the multiples. Now in regards to LCM and HCF there is an important property which says that for any given two numbers multiplication of a and b would be equal to HCF of a and b and LCM of a and b. So let's see a problem related to that. So students let's read the problem statement. Find HCF of 96 and 404 and hence find their LCM. So first of all, in order to find the HCF, we have to factorize 96 and 404. So let's find factor of 96. So 96 can be written as 2 to the power 5 multiplied by 3 to the power 1. Similarly, we can find factors of 404. So 404 can be factorized as 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 101. 
Now in order to find HCF of 96 and 404, we have to take least power of common multiple. So the co what is the common multiple between two? It is only 2. So the common multiple is 2 which has least power of 2. So the HCF would be 2 to the power 2 which is 4. Now since we already know the HCF we also know the numbers 96 and 404 we can easily find their LCM without going through the factorization route. So using the formula A multiplied by B is equal to HCF of A and B multiplied by LCM of A and B. So we know the value of A and B which is 96 into 404 HCF of A 96 and 404 is 4 multiplied by their LCM. So doing the cross multiplication we can see that LCM of 96 and 404 can be calculated as 96 multiplied by 404 divided by 4. So let's do that. So the LCM of 96 and 404 is 9696 which is our answer.